Tray agent, the open source AI agent that actually works. Welcome back to another tech deep dive where we explore tools that might actually change how you code or at least make you feel slightly less miserable about it. The Tray story from editor to CLI beast. You probably remember Tray AI editor, right? That surprisingly good free AI editor that integrated Claude, Gemini, and other AI models without making you sell your kidney for API costs. Well, Plot Twist ByteDance just open sourced the core agent that powers that editor and turned it into a standalone CLI tool called Tray Agent. And here's the kicker it's fully open source under the MIT license. That means you can grab it, tinker with it, break it, fix it, and even contribute back if you're feeling generous. It's like getting the recipe for Coca Cola, but for AI coding agents. The best part this same agent will power the future versions of Tray Editor itself. So you're basically getting a sneak peek at the engine under the hood. What makes this different from Cloud Code? Now, before you roll your eyes and say another AI coding tool, let me tell you why this one caught my attention. Tray Agent is basically an LLM-based agent designed for general purpose software engineering tasks that lives in your terminal. Think Cloud Code, Gemini CLI, or OpenAI's offerings, but with a crucial difference. This doesn't route through Trace servers or any third-party service. It's completely local and uses your own API keys for Anthropic or OpenAI. No middleman, no privacy concerns, no oops, our servers are down moments. Just you, your terminal, and the AI of your choice. Currently, it supports Anthropic and OpenAI out of the box, though I've seen some pull requests in the pipeline that will expand this to other providers soon. Getting started the setup dance. Let's talk setup. The maintainers recommend using UV for installation, which is faster than PIP, but also a bit more temperamental. Personally, I'd stick with good old PIP unless you enjoy troubleshooting dependency issues on a Tuesday evening. Here's the simple approach. To install it, you can go for Git clone repository. After that, CD tray agent and UV sync. Once that's done, you'll need to set up your API keys. You can either edit the config file directly or export them as environment variables. I prefer the environment variable approach because it's cleaner and doesn't leave API keys lying around in config files. The command structure is simple yet powerful. The main entry point is the tli command, and you've got several subcommands to work with. The most common one is tli run, which lets you type natural language instructions like create a hello world Python script and watch the magic happen. What's cool is that you can specify which provider and model you want to use, set a custom working directory, or even save the full execution trajectory for debugging. That last feature is actually pretty unique and incredibly useful. The trajectory system, your AI's black box. Here's where Tray Agent really shines. It records detailed logs of every step it takes, and I mean everything. LLM interactions, tool calls, state transitions, the works. It's like having a flight recorder for your AI coding sessions, right? If something goes wrong or you're just curious about how it solved a particular problem, you can dig into the trajectory file and see the entire thought process. This is invaluable for debugging or understanding what's happening under the hood, especially when you're not staring at the terminal 24 seven. Interactive mode, the conversational approach. There's also an interactive mode that works similarly to Cloud Code or Ader. You run Tli Interactive and you can start typing tasks, ask for status updates, clear the screen or exit whenever you want. It's not revolutionary, you get similar functionality with other tools, but the fact that everything is happening locally in your terminal with full configuration control is pretty neat. You can set maximum steps, change providers on the fly, adjust models mid-conversation, and generally have complete control over the experience. The tool ecosystem where it gets interesting. What really sets Tray Agent apart is its tool ecosystem. Out of the box, you get several sophisticated tools. File editing tools. The STR replace based edit tool is particularly elegant. It lets you view, create, and modify files directly from natural language instructions. No more copying and pasting code snippets, just describe what you want, and it handles the file operations. Sequential thinking. This is where things get sophisticated. The agent can break down complex problems into smaller, manageable steps. It generates hypotheses, tests them, and revises its approach as needed. 
It's like having a junior developer who actually thinks through problems systematically. Task done tool simple but effective. The agent signals when it believes it's finished with a task. You'd be surprised how many AI tools struggle with knowing when to stop. Configuration flexibility without complexity. The configuration system is refreshingly flexible. It uses a JSON config file, but you can override pretty much anything with command line arguments or environment variables. The priority order is logical command line first, then config file, then environment variables, then defaults. This means you're never locked into a particular setup. Want to experiment with different models? Easy. Need to adjust parameters for a specific project? No problem. The system adapts to your workflow rather than forcing you to adapt to it. Real world test the light theme challenge. Let me show you this in action. I have this Kingbench app that I use to test AI coding tools, and I always ask them to add a light theme option. It's a good test because it requires understanding existing code, making UI changes, and ensuring everything works together. As you can see, Tray Agent approaches this systematically. It examines the current code base, identifies the styling system, and implements the theme toggle functionality. The process is similar to cloud code in terms of capability, but the execution feels more methodical. One thing to note, it doesn't stream responses like cloud code does. Instead, it updates the trajectory file continuously, which you can monitor to see progress. This approach is designed more for integration scenarios where you might want the agent working in the background without constant user interaction. The results, pretty solid. The light theme implementation works without issues, which is more than I can say for some other tools I've tested. The code quality is clean and the integration feels natural. The alpha reality rough edges and potential. Let's be honest, this is alpha software, so you'll encounter bugs. The documentation could be more comprehensive in places, and some features feel half-baked. But for a first release, it's remarkably stable and functional. What excites me most is the potential for customization. The entire agent codebase is surprisingly readable and modular. If you want to add custom tools, modify the workflow, or integrate it with your existing development setup, the barrier to entry is refreshingly low. The open source advantage. Here's what makes this special a company with a successful AI editor product decided to open source the core technology behind it. That's not something you see every day in the current AI landscape where everyone's trying to build moats around their technology. The fact that you can fork it, contribute to it, and adapt it to your specific needs changes the game. Instead of being locked into someone else's vision of how AI coding should work, you can make it work the way you want. A future outlook what's coming, I've been tracking the GitHub repository and there's active development happening. More provider integrations are in the pipeline, the tool ecosystem is expanding, and the community is starting to contribute interesting extensions. The roadmap suggests deeper integration capabilities, more sophisticated reasoning tools, and better support for complex multi-file projects. If the current trajectory continues, this could become a serious contender in the AI coding space. Should you try it? Here's my take. If you're already using Cloud Code or similar tools, Tray Agent is worth experimenting with. It offers a different approach to AI-assisted coding that might fit your workflow better. If you're new to AI coding tools, this is actually a great place to start. It's less overwhelming than some alternatives, the open source nature means you can learn from the code, and the trajectory logging helps you understand what's actually happening. The learning curve is gentle, the setup is straightforward, and the results are genuinely useful. In a world full of AI tools with more marketing than substance, Tray Agent feels refreshingly practical. In Final Thoughts, ByteDance created something useful and decided to share it with the world. In the current AI landscape, where everyone's trying to build the next billion-dollar platform, this kind of open-source contribution feels significant. Tray Agent might not be the most polished tool out there, but it's got something that many alternatives lack transparency, flexibility, and the potential for community-driven evolution. Give it a try, break it, fix it, and maybe even contribute back. That's the beauty of open source we all get to make it better together. What do you think? Are you ready to add another AI coding tool to your arsenal or are you suffering from AI tool fatigue? Let me know in the comments below and as always, subscribe for more deep dives into the tools that might actually matter. Until next time, keep coding, keep
Keep questioning, and remember, not all AI tools are created equal, but some are worth the installation hassle.